Hi, welcome to this tutorial on how to use gilding flakes to create leaves. Here is an example of a card with a leaf made using the gilding flakes. For this project you'll need Foliage Fancy Clear Stamp Set, some gilding flakes, some versifying toffee ink, some gilding glue, a paintbrush, some white card, some black embossing powder, Versamark ink and a clear acrylic block. To begin, take your white card and one of the shadow stamps from the set. Place the stamp onto an acrylic block and ink with the Versafine Toffee ink. Don't worry if you do not get a good impression as this will be covered by the gilding flakes in the next step. Once you have inked this, leave it to dry for a few moments. Once dry, you can then apply the gilding glue. Take your paintbrush and evenly apply the glue to the inked areas. You're looking for a nice even coverage over the whole leaf. Don't worry too much if you go over the edges as this leaf will be cut out. Continue until you have completed the whole leaf and then leave the glue to dry. It will actually dry leaving it tacky. It is important that when you have finished that you clean the brush immediately, otherwise the glue will spoil your brush. Next, take your gilding flakes and be very careful because they're very light and if you sneeze, I can assure you they go absolutely everywhere. You want to take a few in between your fingers and just sprinkle them over the leaf. Don't worry about not covering the whole area as you will be spreading out the actual gilding flakes with a paintbrush in the next step. Take your paintbrush and gradually spread out the flakes onto the glued area. You can see here that I'm gently teasing out each flake and making it stick onto the actual gilded glue area. Repeat this process until the whole of the leaf is covered. the leaf is covered you can then brush over again to remove any remaining loose flakes from the leaf area. Once I have done this I also take a soft cloth and gently buff the area to remove any loose flakes still again. Next take the outline stamp and place it on your acrylic block. Ink with Versamark ink and then stamp making sure you line up over the gilded area. Sprinkle black embossing powder over the stamped image and then heat in the normal way with a heat gun until the whole of the powder is melted. Then take your scissors and cut out around the edge of the leaf. Once you have cut out the leaf you can then shape it. I like to use my fingers because it gives a more natural effect. Bending the leaves downwards and back upwards again until I get a more natural look. And here is the card with the finished leaf. And finally a list of the materials again that have been used in this project. Thank you for watching. 
For further information, please visit my blog at candronicucardcraft.blogspot.com.